In this video, I'm gonna share with you the seven fragrances that I wore this week. So if you wanna hear what they are, make sure you keep watching. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Tip Benson here. I hope you've had a beautiful week. Let's go ahead, give this video a big thumbs up so we can get started. I'm going to be sharing with you seven scents that I've worn this week. Legit, they are all so gorgeous. I just, I, let's just get started. Leave a comment right now and let me know what you've been wearing this week. I'm so curious. I'd love to read your comments and see what you wear. It helps me learn your taste and it also kind of educates me on what people are wearing these days. So definitely leave a comment and let me know what you've been wearing. Okay, so first fragrance up that I've been wearing and I've really been wearing it all summer, like all summer and loving it is this Thomas Cosmala fragrance. It is number four, and I believe it's called Après Le Mont et le Parfum. Adore this fragrance. So in the community, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. People have been saying that it smells like Baccarat Rouge from MFK. It does slightly, but it is not the same fragrance, in my opinion, at least. I love to wear this one. Like, I mean, you know, it's funny because I feel like I've worn it a lot, but it is so fragrant. Like you have to go super light when you wear this fragrance because you can like smell it the next day. Siage heavy, fragrance heavy, strong Ambroxan note in this one. I like to wear it on nights out, times where I want to be noticed. It does make an impact, it does make an impression. If you like Baccarat, but maybe can't afford that price tag, try this. Up next is a fragrance from Montal. It is called Aqua Gold, and I am gonna spray this one on because, oh, hold on, let me, do I have to pull it out? No, I don't. There we go. Mm. Oh my God, yes. This is so beautiful. It kind of reminds me of like a scent that you could almost wear to the beach, but like, it's not a beach scent, but it does have like a beachy element to it. Like there's like a solar twist. There's sun in this bottle. Super good sillage. I like this one a lot. I'm testing it. I think it's super sexy and um, yeah, that's one of the fragrances I wore this week. Up next from another fragrance that we have from the house of Montal is Greedy Chocolate. So your girl is getting ready for the fall. You know, I gotta be honest, like midsummer is when I start thinking, okay, like what, it, what am I gonna wear for the fall? What are my guys gonna wear for the fall? What's gonna take them into the fall winter? And this is one of those fragrances that I'm like, yes, it is sexy. It's called Chocolate Greedy, not Greedy Chocolate hilarious because I was talking to one of my friends and I was mentioning this fragrance and she was like girl are you dyslexic <laughs> yeah my dyslexia was uh working just now but anyway chocolate greedy is gorgeous this legit smells like chocolate cake chocolate oh my god so good so so good totally unisex when I smell this, it feels like I can eat this. Like, is this perfume edible? It is not, don't eat it. That would be dangerous. But anyway, this is what I've been wearing this week, testing and loving, thinking about this for the fall, for sure. I'll be getting a lot of wear out of it. Another fragrance that I've been thinking about for the fall is this beauty right here, another Montal scent. It is Intense Cafe. Yes, love, intense cafe. So for me, I'm all about coffee and I should not, let me tell you, I have a slight coffee addiction right now and I'm, I shouldn't even be having coffee. I'm allergic to caffeine, hello? But there's something about coffee that is just so addictive, right? Let me take this out. It's so interesting how like some of the Montal caps go through the sprayer and then some go underneath to stop it. <sighs> Definitely give Cafe Intense, Intense Cafe! You see the dyslexia? <laughs> 
oh, I'm embarrassed. Cafe Intense. That, that's, the, that's the one you want to try, all right? That's another fragrance I wore this week. Montal Arabians. So I picked this up thinking about how Montal fragrances are so beautifully like blended and the notes that they use, like you can tell like the certain notes that you, they use from one fragrance is in another and another. Like there, there's a DNA to this fragrance line and, um, and it certainly makes sense because every fragrance in the Montal line is very, very likable. Anyway, Arabians is a very oud centric scent. Tons of sillage. To me, it just smells very gentlemanly. Like you can't go wrong with this one. It's very masculine, at least in my opinion, masculine leaning. It's a really nice oud, like a really nice, to wear, easy to wear sort of oud. I think that date night is where I would wear that one specifically. Another fragrance from the House of Montal that I've been wearing is Roses and Musk. So the last fragrance event that I was a part of, which was at It Is De Venustis, um, I was with my friend, my buddy Rohan. You guys know Roro. If you watch, if you follow me on Instagram, you know my Roro. Anyway, he fell in love. I'm giving away his secret. He's gonna hate me. He likes this fragrance and I like it too. It's super unisex, but this on a guy is just like a dream. It is so good. I love florals on men. I think it's unexpected. I think when I smell a floral fragrance on a man, it reads as a man who's very confident because a lot of men won't wear florals because they think somehow florals are for women and men shouldn't wear florals. But when I, when you smell it on a guy, I'm telling you, it's just so unexpected and it's just dramatic and I love it. I love it. I love florals on a guy. So this is roses and musk. It's all roses, all musk. This is like been my day scent because it's super easy. It's super easy to wear. Oh, it's all about the dry down. It's musky, floral, dry down, beautiful moments of sillage. I really, really enjoy it. And yeah, that's another fragrance I wore this week. Last fragrance that I wore this week is a sample. So I'm going to drop an image right here just so you can see what it is. But actually, I'll show you the sample. No shame. Totally no shame. I only got the sample because it's like a $300 bottle. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. It's Zerjoff's Opera from the V Collection. The bottle is all velvet, very dramatic. And I am literally obsessed. I believe this fragrance has like nutmeg in it. The opening is like a fruit basket opening. It's like super fruity. It's like a light musky dry down. I'm just so over the moon about this fragrance. Um, I will be buying it. It's very rare for me to find a fragrance that I just feel like, oh, I have to have it. I have to have it. I have to buy it. It's rare. It's rare. It does not happen that often. The fragrance market is so saturated with so much fragrance, so much noise, so much stuff that smells like everything else. I think it's very rare when you find something that you really, 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 really like, one, and two, that you would really spend so much money on just because like if if i'm spending over if i'm spending over a hundred dollars i have to really like it because i need to wear it i need to get my money's worth out of it as you know too i'm a minimalist so i don't like excessiveness i just don't it doesn't sit right with my heart so in reality i don't need not near one more bottle of perfume but this one i need so this was what I wore this week. Please don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you wore this week. Your girl is super curious. Also, the conversation continues in the Fragrance Society, my private group of fragrance lovers online. This month we will be doing a giveaway of Kareen's NYC Sunday Brunch. It's one of my 
favorites for summer right now. It's perfect for the August hot weather. So if you're not already signed up for my exclusive fragrance newsletter, make sure you do sign up. I will leave a link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here and don't forget to turn on your notifications. I want you to be notified every time that I post a video here on YouTube. And if you're not receiving my notifications, which some people say that they are not, NBD, which means no big deal. Make sure that you subscribe to my own personal newsletter. I'll also leave a link in the description or subscribe at tiffbenson.com. Super easy. I'm, I'm clearly found all around the internet. <laughs> Love you forever, my friends. Watch what's up next and I will catch you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>